Hey everybody, it's Kim from Doodash Farms and there's Brian and it is time for what's for dinner at Doodash Farms. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but I don't know, maybe a couple of months ago we did a uh, steak and mushroom foil pack on the grill. Well, tonight we're going to do a steak and potatoes foil pack on the grill. Um, this is great for this time of year and I'm telling you the weather lately has been just amazing. So I'm going to turn it around here and we're going to see what Brian's uh, putting together for these foil packs. Hey Brian. Hello Kimmy. So how's it going? Yeah, good. Good. It is some nice weather the past couple of days. It has huh? been. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's like 40 degrees, 40, not 40, 49 degrees this morning. I know. In June and back in January we were like in the 70s. I know. It's crazy. Yeah. So what have we got going on? Yeah. So something simple and easy. Uh, this is, is a great idea if you want to go on a camping trip. You know, you can make this ahead of time. Yeah. Stick it in your refrigerator and... And then just take the, your foil packs, put them yeah, in your cooler. Yeah, yeah. yeah I so love it's it. basically you're cooking it in the foil. Yeah. Um, one of the things with the potatoes is that we would recommend that you parboil them or just soften them. Yeah, soften them up so your steak isn't overdone while you're waiting for the potatoes. Yeah, to be that's done. a great idea. So we just did it for like boiled it for five minutes and that was it. Let it cool off. Got it. So these potatoes are straight out of the garden. I mean, like well, literally we, pulled out of the yeah, ground. I did wash them. Well, yeah, we washed them, or we, listen to me, Brian washed them, and then so he's cut them into quarters and then put them in uh, water and boiled them for yeah. about th five minutes, so. So yeah. then this is our steak. I went ahead and cut it up to, so we could get it marinated. Um, we actually have a batch on the grill. That's sirloin steak, and this is some New York strip. Got it. So we trim the fat off, and um, our marinade is a third cup of soy sauce, low sodium, uh, a little over a tablespoon of olive oil, a couple cloves of garlic diced up, then like a teaspoon of basil and a teaspoon of oregano and yeah. a little salt and pepper. All right. So this has only been in here maybe 20 minutes so, or so. Yeah. So, I'm so just marinate gonna, it just for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And whatever marinade is left over, I'm going to pour over the top of this before Got I close it, it Got up. Got it. So let me go ahead and get the all right. Meat on here. Hi, Becky Bird. So if you're just uh, starting to watch us, we just hit it right out of the gate. Um, a few weeks ago, we did some steak and mushroom foil packs that we prepared on the grill. This is a, a great time to grill. So tonight we're making steak and potato foil packs, and uh, we've taken some uh, potatoes out of the garden, washed them up, cut them into quarters. Uh, we put them at, on the stove to boil for about five minutes just to soften them up because you really don't want your potatoes to be done long before your steak is done. And so Brian has taken some New York strip and he's cut the, trimmed the fat off and uh, he uh, put it in a marinade which will be in, on the recipe in our newsletter. Um, basically has some olive oil, soy sauce, uh, basil, oregano. oregano, salt and pepper, and now he's putting some onions on top of that, and those are also out of the garden, yep. and some garlic. So we uh, basically um, so, and we're just gonna diced up a little bit of garlic. Put here. maybe a half a tablespoon of butter yeah. on there. I think it's more for the potatoes than anything else. Yeah. So all right, we're so, gonna wrap these up, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna put them take on them the out grill, to the grill. 425 degrees which is like a medium high, I guess you would call it. You could do it in your oven too, if you don't yeah, have a grill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, yeah. yeah. All right, so uh, Brian's gonna wrap these up. Show them that beautiful um, onion out of the garden. Look at those, we'll have some of those. We're gonna clean them up, but we'll have some of those at the market tomorrow, hopefully, uh, along with some broccoli and cauliflower and um, cabbage. cabbage, yeah. And of course the potatoes. And potatoes, yeah. All right, so Brian's going to wrap that up, and I'm telling you what, this is perfect grilling weather. It was 49 degrees this yeah. morning. Yeah, we actually had a bonfire last night, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. We did. Not that it was that cold, but no, but it was, it was still. It was well, it was cool. It got kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, somebody had uh, a heavy, not a heavy, a jacket on last night. I had a jacket on. Don't make fun of me. All right, y'all. We're going to take these out. We're going to follow Brian out to the grill. And um, let me grab another plate. Okay. 
while he's grabbing plates, I'm going to walk out to the grill. So, do you want me to follow you that way, or? All right, all right. So, uh, yeah, we're going to put these on the grill. We already have a couple of foil packs on the grill. That way, we could show you a finished product. So, let's walk on out here. Let's see who's watching. Donna Marie, hey Donna Marie, and Becky Bird is watching. Uh, I really can't see who else. Okay, just look at this beautiful evening on the farm. We got some cows right out here, just for, and we're gonna eat out here tonight. So we've got our dishes ready. Gingy's gonna help. Gingy's our little um, mouse patrol. All right, so we've got some of these foil packs on the grill. Brian's going to put a couple more. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Michelle Dillon, last week, she owns, uh, she and her husband Mike own um, Dog Haven Lodge, and they said that one day they're just going to come and knock on the door and say, hey, we're here for dinner. So, and I told her to come on. All right, so we're going to let those cook for a little bit. Yeah, so the yeah. ones that we have on there. Should be what? 15 minutes another, maybe? No, seven minutes. Another seven minutes. All right, so. You talk about the market. That, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna talk about the farmer's market. Uh, tomorrow morning from eight until noon, we're gonna be at the Dandridge Farmer's Market. Um, we uh, Let me tell you who's gonna be there, who we know is gonna be there. So we have uh, Living Kitchen Farms. They're gonna be there. They've had some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful vegetables. Um, and some beautiful plants and flowers. They're going to be there. Sandy Ridge Vineyard. Our girls are going to be back tomorrow with their eggs and vegetables and herbs. Uh, that's uh, Lila, Bella Kate, and Tallulah. Come and talk to them about camp this week. They went to camp at Carson Newman. Hear all about it. You got to come and also hear about their blue ribbons. All right, so come to the market tomorrow and see the Fincham girls at Sandy Ridge Vineyards. Uh, Grace Pastures, Travis and Mackenzie are going to be there. They've got their uh, whole chickens and chicken parts, and uh, uh, they're going to be there. Very, very good quality um, chicken. We're also going to have Highway Homestead. Courtney will be back. She's got her goat's milk caramels and uh, her swanky chicken rub and all of that. She's going to be there. Um, Shelly with Hillbilly Homestead will be there. Uh, we're also going to have Laura Wall with Found a Pearl Farm. And uh, we'll have Linda with um, House of Douglas, her stew and bread. Come out and get some. Uh, of course, Brian and I are going to be there. We've got Hipshire Farm, uh, lots of vegetables. They're going to be there tomorrow. Cheney Produce, they're going to be there tomorrow. Um, let's see, Greta. Greta's uh, Country Soaps. Greta's going to be there tomorrow. Finally, we're going to have Greta back. So come out, come out and see Greta. Uh, this will be her first Saturday back this year, and we're all excited to see her. And um, I believe... I've touched them all, haven't I, Brian? I think so. That's everybody. So that's who's going to be at the market tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be beautiful weather. Absolutely beautiful. I don't think there's going to be any humidity. I mean, today's been like that, too. Yeah. It's been great. Um, so, hey, Patty Gibson. Patty's watching, and your mom's watching, Brian. you got to say hi, hi to Mom. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Mom. And we've got a Father's Day special, too. We do. We have a uh, Father's Day smoking special. Yep. So tell us what's on the smoking special. So it's it's you should splurge for your father. I know everybody splurges for their mother, but it's $140. So it's a whole pork shoulder. So that's going to be like 9 to 10 pounds. Yeah. Um, a beef brisket in the 3 to 4 pound range. And a pork belly in the 3 to 4 pound range. And then two chicken leg quarters from our friends with the Grace Pastures. That's right. So, so it's not them. just beef, y'all. It's beef and chicken, Father's Day package, $145. $140. Oh, $140. I see, yeah. it's $140. So that'll That's be a bargain. I mean, it really and is. Next weekend. This weekend and next and weekend. Off the farm too. Father's Day special. It's on our website if you want to uh, hear again what all is included in that. Um, I will post something on Facebook and Instagram so that it will be there also. Carolyn Clark is saying hi. So hi, hi, so hi to Carolyn. Um, so yeah, y'all splurge on your dad, right? Get him a uh, smoking special um, and shoot, get him a smoker, right? <laughs> is there anything else you want to talk about, Brian? Anything else no, that's going on? I think you got it covered. Yeah, been to the butcher today, picked up more delivered and picked up delivered and picked up beef and pork to use our time wisely mm -hmm. so yeah 
had a great weekend last weekend um, at uh, Maddox. I had some great burgers. Yep. Yeah. And I think they're so. going to do it again next weekend. Yeah. yeah. So more uh, more burgers, and um, what else? Anything else? Yeah. Uh, Gingy Bacon. wants to say hi. Gingy wants to say hi. Let's see what's going on. We're killing time while we're waiting on our foil pack and my cool new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gigi. All right, so I can give them a tour here while we're waiting. Um, so what are y'all having for dinner tonight? Yeah, let me, let's talk. Hey, what did we do last talk week? Talk back. What did we do last oh, week? Beef. Oh. And actually, yeah, I thought it was better cold and sliced it like lunch meat. Yeah. We had sandwiches a couple of days this week. Yeah. And uh, it was good. It was just as good cold and as it was warm that night. Yeah. And that was kind of a just last minute. It was delicious. Meal plan and never done it before and was very happy with yeah, that. Yeah. It was really, really good. Um, so if you're just joining us, we're making some steak and potato foil packs. And uh, and really, all the ingredients come straight from this farm, and it's all natural stuff. We've got uh, potatoes and onions uh, from the farm. We've got some garlic in there. That's not from the farm. Um, and then we've got, we're using, um, you said sirloin steak for the first batch. Yeah. <clears throat> you can use really any type of steak. Yeah. I mean, you could use filet if you want it. You could yeah. use beef stew if you yeah. want it. So it's just going to be something that'll be um, good and easy. Carolyn said, oh, those foil packs will be good. Yes. You know, we had the um, beef and mushroom, and those were amazing. And, yeah, these are going to be fantastic. So we've got steak and potatoes in there. One thing that we did do before um, we put the potatoes in the foil was we actually boiled them for about five minutes uh, just simply because you don't want your steak to be done and your potatoes still cooking. So here we go. Yeah. Check this out. So there we go. All of your meal in one foil pack. You've got some, uh, oh, it smells delicious too. Yeah, it sure does. And the marinade that we had on these was basically some olive oil, some uh, low sodium soy sauce, um, Oregano, basil, garlic, uh, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And we've already got the table set over here. Um, hey, Donna Richardson. I'm so glad to see you watching. And Carolyn says, I think I can smell it. Carolyn, it does smell really good. You know, just the basil and oregano. It just smells good. Let's get over here where I can show you what it looks like in the plate here so yeah there you go look at that it does smell good it does and you know brian brought up a, a good point that you could actually prepare these foil packs ahead of time because you really want that to marinate anyway so you could uh, prepare these ahead of time put them in a cooler on ice take them camping with you and uh there you go so those are our beef and potato boil packs. And Donna says, looks delish. I'll be right over. Yeah. Carolyn says, such a good idea for the summer. Isn't it though? I mean, that is really, and it's so easy. You know, you could actually uh, make your foil packs the night before, let them marinate all day, come home from work, stick them on the grill, and you've got dinner in 20 yeah, minutes. Yeah. So yeah, that but would be so a great even the prep idea time was less than 10. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't take long. So this is short. I mean, gosh, we did all of this and it's only seven o'clock. So that's good. Um, but yeah, give it a try. Give it a try. And this recipe will be in our newsletter. Uh, and if you aren't subscribed to our newsletter, go over to our website, do-farms.com, and subscribe to the newsletter. We'll send you out these recipes once a month. And uh, if you are, uh, if you want, you can watch these little Facebook Live uh, videos on our YouTube channel and just recreate the whole thing. Uh, and that's do-farms.com, or at do-farms, really. That is our, um, I guess, our social media handle on all social media so 
uh, yeah, give it a try. It's going it to smells really good it's going to be delicious well y'all if you are in our area and you can come by and see us at the dandridge farmers market tomorrow um tune in early we open at eight i'll be doing a live in the morning to show you what's going on at the market come out bring your coffee grab some breakfast and uh and we'll see you then and if you're not in our area thank you so much for for just supporting us and hanging out with us tonight uh and if you ever are in the area reach out to us and come and uh, take a tour and visit us at the farm okay we would love to see you um carolyn said have a good weekend you too carolyn everybody have a great weekend and i know what brian wants to do let's eat let's eat so we'll see you later bye